God. St. Luke's Gospel, the first chapter, and you can, I'm going to read one verse and then I'm going to let you be seated because uh, I won't keep you standing too long because you've been standing singing. And we could have done some more of that, been all right with me. Yeah, right <laughs> Praise God. Luke, first chapter, verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Praise God. You can be seated. To a virgin and spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Thank God. And he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Praise God. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Born in a stable. Born in the city of Bethlehem. Yes. Born to a virgin by the name of Mary. Born and given the name of Jesus because he shall save his people from their sins. Yes. Also given the name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Amen. But one of these days, he's coming back after a church, after those that have been born into the kingdom of God that is going to be established forever. Right? Amen. He said, of his kingdom, there shall be no end. I right. said that he, he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. I simply want to preach to you for just a little while tonight. God reigns. Amen. God reigns. Yes, it does. It doesn't matter how much men think that they're in control how much men think that they've got it made and how much in charge of this world that they think they are mm -hmm. God still reigns right? yes sir God still reigns one of these days he's going to establish that kingdom and we're going to be part of that kingdom that is going to reign forever no longer will he be that baby in a manger mm -hmm. no one no longer will he be meek and mild he was born as the lamb slain from the foundation of the world for our sins. For one of these days, he's going to be crowned king of kings, the Lord of lords, and he's going to be, the Bible says, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. But God reigns. Yes, it does. Huh? Yes, it does. No, no matter what we feel about it, no matter what we think about it, no matter whether we live for him or whether we don't live for him, God still reigns. Yes, it does. Yes. And that word reigns, it means to rule as king or a royal dominion. Amen. A royal dominion. So God reigns. He's still in control. Sometimes it don't look like it. Sometimes we don't think he is. But what we see happening and what we see take, taking place is bringing about the fulfillment of His Word 
so that we can get to that place that he will establish his kingdom. Amen. <laughs> he taught him in the Lord's Prayer. He said, you know, he said, pray like this, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. And one of these days, his kingdom's going to come. And we're going to get to be a part of that kingdom that is going to be established forever. Amen. And guess who's going to be king? For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Yes. He's going to rule and reign forever. I'm glad to know that God reigns. Yes. I, you know, you look about and, 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 and <laughs> yeah. You ever listen to people boast about what they're going to do? Mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Not realizing that they can only do it if God allows them to do That's it. That's right. Because he reigns. The Bible, Bible has many scriptures, and I won't try to give you all of them tonight, on him reigning. Bible says in Psalms 47, 7 and 8, For God is the king of all the earth. Amen. He's king of all the earth. Yes, he is. One of these days he's going to be king over a new earth. Amen. I've said a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. God is king of all the earth, singing praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. And this, I like that part. They don't realize it. Bless him, Jesus. The heathen don't realize it. God reigneth over the heathen. Yes, he does. You know, the thing, all these things that they think they're getting away with. Huh? Amen. They're going to stand before God and God's going to be their judge. And yes, he is. He's going to pronounce judgment upon them. And they're going to realize they didn't get away with the thing. That's right. You know, I can't understand, well, I guess I can, it, 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 it's the way men think. You know how these people that commit crimes, whether it's, it's, a, it's a bank robbery or, or whether it's murder, most of them get caught. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm going to say probably 95 or maybe 99% of those that commit those crimes get caught. Amen. Yes, sir. You know, but those others that thought they got away with it, they won't. That's right. Because God reigns. He, he reigns. Psalms 96, 10 through 13 says this. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. <coughs> When's the last time you told a heathen God reigns? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's what he said. He said, say among the healer, God, right? Yes, so every once in a while, we got to tell people, boy, God's going to control the list. I don't know what you think you're doing. I don't know what you think you're getting away with, but God's still in control. Yes, he does. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be established, and he shall not be moved, <laughs> and he shall judge the people righteously. Mm -hmm. Let the heavens rejoice. Amen. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar. Let the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful. Mm -hmm. And all that is therein. I, I, I love I love to watch nature praise God. Yes. Somebody said that's right. Amen. Just, yes, what, sir. what did the word just tell us? Yes, sir. Let the earth rejoice. Let Amen. the field be joyful. Amen. You can get up in the morning and you can see you can see that sun come up. And you, you can see the beautiful creation. You can see the, 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 the trees blowing in the breeze and realize, hey, it's just nature praising God. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Man is the only creature that is disobedient to God. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Of all, out of all his creation, man is the only one that's disobedient. That's right. 
He said, Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Amen. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Yes, sir. Psalms 97 and 1. The Lord reigneth. Again, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad thereof. Yes, sir. Psalms 99 and 1. The Lord reigneth. Let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims and let the earth be moved. Amen. Psalms 93, Thank verses 1 and 2. Jesus. The Lord reigneth. Amen. He's clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he gir hath girded himself. The world also established that he cannot be moved. Amen. Do you realize God, God reigns? Do you realize any time he wants to, he could call the sun not to come up? Yes, he can. Huh? Yes, he can. He still reigns. Amen. Do you realize any time a weatherman predicts the weather forecast, God can change it? Amen. Yes, sir, he does. Yep. Amen. They can predict it, but they can't control it. But I, I understand. I understand the course of nature. I understand when God created all all of this this things that. <laughs> I kind of get green and get tickled when, when people say, you know, it could it, it could rain for five or six days in a row, and people say, well, we got rain today, or we, we must need it, the Lord wouldn't send <laughs> But what, what we've got to understand, and I'm just throwing this in, is that when God created all of this thing, all of these things that He created, when certain conditions would come together, as far as nature is concerned, when certain conditions would come together, it would rain. Yes, sir. That's or when right. certain conditions came together, it would snow. Amen. So, so some of these things, it's just that it was put in motion a year, a long time ago in creation, that when these conditions would take place, rain would happen, yes. or drought would happen, or, or snowstorm would happen, or a tornado would happen, or a hurricane. You know, it was said it's, it's nature. That's right. It's nature that he created thousands of years ago. Yes, sir. So, so you know, but he could stop it when he, he could stop it by speaking the word. That's right. Because why? Because he reigns. He reigns. Thy throne is established of old, and thou art from everlasting. Isaiah fifty-two and seven says this: How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publishes peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publishes salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Amen. Thy God reigneth. Amen. See, it becomes our responsibility to tell people that God reigns, right? Yes, it does. God's still on his throne. You know, the problem is, <laughs> the, the problem is that a lot of people don't believe in God. That's the truth. They don't believe he's in control. Mm -hmm. But he is. I, I, I thought this is kind of comical, and I've told it before, but I, th I thought you know, several years ago, a place I was working, and we were talking about the death of, of Madeline O'Hare. Most of you know who that was. She's the one mm -hmm. that took, she's the atheist that, that was uh, implemental in taking prayer out of school or, or getting a, a law. I don't know. Anyway. She died, and we were discussing her death, you know, talking about how she didn't believe in God. And one one boy was standing there, and he, he didn't go to church as far as I knew. And we said something about what, uh, somebody said, well, ain't she the one that didn't believe in God? Somebody said, yeah. And that boy spoke up and said, I bet she does now. <laughs> Amen. You know? Amen. They will realize one day yes, sir. that God reigns, and God's still in control. People will realize that, but but what's the sad thing about it? For Amen. some, it'll be too late. It'll be too late. Yes, sir. But God reigns. From that baby in a manger to King of Kings and Lord of Lords, 
Revelation is the 19th chapter. Verse 4. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came out of the, song, the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants. Somebody said, Why? Why do you push praise so much? Why do you push worship so much? Why do you tell us to lift our hands? Why did he tell us to pray? It's the word of God. Amen. Listen, the voice came out of the soul. The throne said, praise our God. Yes, it did. Thank you, Jesus. All ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard a voice, as it were, the voice of a great multitude. And as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Yes, sir. See, see, when it's all said and done, when it's all over with, guess who's still going to be sitting on the throne? Amen. God reigned. All, all these kings, all these presidents, all, all these rulers of all nations, when, when they're all dead and gone, and when it's all over with, and, and God says it's the end, come up here. Guess who's going to be on the throne? Amen. God reigns. Yes, He is. God reigns. Verse 7, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come and His wife has made herself ready. Who's His wife? The church. Amen. Church, we're the bride of Christ. Yes. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Thank now you. the Bible teaches us that that our righteousness is as filthy rags. That's right. But the Bible also tells us in, in 1 Corinthians 1 and 30 that Christ, Christ is made unto us righteousness. Amen. Jesus is our righteousness. Amen. Our, righteous will, our righteousness will never be nothing but filthy rags. But when we get Jesus in our heart, we get Jesus in our life, He becomes our righteousness. Yes, oh, sir. Amen. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And He saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. Amen. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. And I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse. He that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. <clears throat> and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And on it, wait, 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 wait. That's a far cry from a babe in a manger. That's a far cry from a babe in a manger. Amen. Too many people want to keep him as a babe in the manger. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that babe in a manger does not intimidate the, the, them as much as a king of kings and lord of lords. Amen. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Their conscience can take a babe <laughs> in a manger, but their conscience can't take the king of kings and the lord of lords. Amen. Now, his eyes were flame of fire and and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. Amen. Notice that. I want, I want to repeat that again. Verse 13. Go back to verse 13. If you can, go back to verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no vision. That's right. And his name is called 
the Word of God. Yes, it is. What does the Bible tell us in the book of John, 1 John, first chapter of, of the book of John? In the beginning was the Word. Amen. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. Verse 14, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Yes, sir. Who was that? His name shall be called the Word of God. Listen, you can't separate Jesus from the Word of God. He was the Word. Yes, he sir. was the Word. And His name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed Him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. What was the fine linen? It was the righteousness of the saints. Who's following, who's following him on that white horse behind him? Who are the armies of God? It's the church. It's, it's, it's the bride of Christ. Amen. Those that are clothed in white linen. Amen. And out of his mouth go the sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations and he shall rule them or reign. Yes. With a rod of arm. He treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the, and the wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. And it's his birth that we're singing about. It's his birth that we're celebrating tonight. But I'm so thankful that when he comes back again, he won't have to die anymore. He won't have to shed his blood anymore. He's already done that. But he's coming back. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And he's going to take me home. Praise God. And we're going to reign. The Bible says we're going to reign with him as kings and priests. We'll reign with him forever because of his kingdom. There shall be no end. There shall be no end. We ought to celebrate his birth because he brought salvation to us. But let's don't forget he's not that baby in a manger anymore. That's right. He's our savior, he's our healer. He's our deliverer. He's our king. And he's going to reign forever. Amen. Praise God. Let's all say. So we can go tell it on the mountain. We can go tell it on the mountain. We can declare to the heathen that our God reigns. That our God runs. His word is being fulfilled. And church and I, I'm serious about it. His word is being fulfilled like I've never seen it being fulfilled. Yes, sir. The prophecies of the word of God are coming to pass about his second coming. And we need to be ready. Amen. Because I want to be one of those clothed in fine linen. Riding upon a white horse with a trunk. Following the one whose name is the Word of God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Lord, bless you for being here tonight. Have a safe.